It is Sunday, it is blue blue skies and I am in my favourite place in the world I'm in Cannes in the south of France I'm in Cannes, I'm in the south of France and it feels so good. It has been a year since I've been here and I'm so happy right now. If you guys follow me, you know we have a lovely little beautiful apartment here in Cannes in the south of France and I just love it so much. It's just my favorite place in the world and I'm here by myself for a few days before my friends come. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on my little solo part of this trip. I had a full day here yesterday and I kind of just was getting my bearings a little bit. I was a little bit sad yesterday if I'm honest with you guys and I don't know exactly why. I think it was just like the weirdness of being here alone and it was just kind of strange and sometimes that happens I found with solo travel like the first day you get here can just be a little bit overwhelming you're just a bit like okay i'm here alone what do i do where do i go i'm panicking change so i think i just got a little bit overwhelmed yesterday so today i just want to take a deep breath and enjoy where i am i'm all ready to go because i'm going to head down to the beach today i have a bag full of all my beach stuff that i need i also brought two books with me on this trip so I've got beach read and I've got lessons in chemistry. I think I'm gonna go with beach read because it's just, it has to be read on the beach. It feels kind of illegal to read this book any other time. So I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna bring it with me. I'm also bringing my iPad because the F1 is on today. So I'm gonna watch it at the beach. And yeah, let's see what we get up to over the next few days. And I love you all so much. Welcome. It is obviously a little bit later on in the day. I had a fabulous day chilling at the beach. I just did absolutely nothing and it was so nice. I also met a subscriber there, which was just the coolest thing in the whole world. And I never got her name, but if you are the lovely lady from Norway who said hi to me on the beach today, you literally made my day. The fact that somebody recognized me here is just so crazy. So I felt a little bit extra special when I was leaving the beach today. I got some spaghetti bolognese in my favorite Italian here when I was finished. It's called Vesuvio's or La Vesuvio's. It's really good. I'm gonna treat myself right now because why not? I'm inside the France. 
I got this rosé um, and I haven't opened it yet so let's open it together although opening bottles is definitely not my forte. I don't get it. That was a struggle but we got there. I'm having a very sophisticated snack with my rosé. I'm having Milky Bar buttons. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do exactly what you guys are doing and watch a little bit of YouTube. But yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna get up too much. I originally thought I was gonna go to like Antibes and do something and make this vlog a little bit more exciting but to be honest with you i'm kind of enjoying just a little bit of downtime and doing a little bit of nothing so i think i might do the same tomorrow but we shall see we'll check in tomorrow stunning cheers everyone I'm just gonna close this door because the traffic's very loud so it is currently Monday evening and I've got to be honest with you guys I'm feeling pretty lonely on this trip and I don't exactly know why sometimes solo travel is the best thing in the world and then sometimes it is like a very tough reality where you actually are just hanging out with yourself and I think sometimes it hits a little bit funny when you haven't really been checking in with yourself a lot recently and when you are solo traveling you have no choice but to sit in your own company and with your own thoughts and i don't know i'm feeling a little bit lonely in those thoughts at the moment um and to be honest with you i I'm doing a really bad habit where because I'm on my own and I don't really have anyone to talk to, I'm just kind of scrolling on my phone. It gives me so much anxiety when I endlessly scroll on my phone, don't get me wrong. There are so many amazing things on the internet and people that I follow and I love seeing and it gets me so inspired and happy. But there's a lot of the time where I am scrolling with no intention, with no care. I'm not taking anything in and then an hour goes by and I'm still sitting there. And that's been kind of happening since I got here. I'm trying to avoid actually spending time with myself mentally, if that makes sense. So tonight I have gotten dressed up and I'm going out for dinner. And I'm going out for dinner with myself, me, myself and I, nobody else. And I'm not letting myself sit at the dinner table scrolling on my phone. I'm gonna enjoy my own company. I'm gonna enjoy the food and I'm just gonna be present with myself because that's what's been lacking so far on this trip. Today I went shopping. Last night, I unfortunately had like a kidney infection slash UTI. It was horrible. It was truly horrible. I was like so ill till like two o'clock this morning and then I finally fell asleep. So this morning I got up and I went shopping and I think I felt sorry for myself and I shopped a bit too much. I went, I went hard at the shopping. One of the items I got, I'm gonna show you guys because I think it's so stunning, is this bag from Zara. This bag looks so like a Ralph Lauren bag that I love. I love a lot of Ralph Lauren's bags. And actually, to be fair, it's not the worst price in the whole entire world for bags. But even still, I think they're a bit of a push. This was 30 euro. And I don't know whether it's coming across well on camera or not, but it looks so expensive. It has the most beautiful like linen on it. I'm really in love with it. I really, really like it. Maybe I'll wear it to dinner tonight. Will I? for a bit of a change. It doesn't really go with my shoes, but maybe I'll wear it just to celebrate it. So yeah, that's what's going on with me. I am still super, super happy to be here. And don't get me wrong, as much as I'm feeling lonely at times, there are times I'm having right now where I'm just feeling so good and I'm loving it. So I think it's just a case that for my last full day tomorrow before everyone gets here, I just really wanna be present. I'm gonna wake up early in the morning and go for a walk down to the beach and do some journaling. I really feel the need to journal right now. I just need to let some things out. And I'm just gonna 
enjoy my company all day tomorrow before I see everyone. I'm really kind of glad as well because I think I'm going to really appreciate the company when people get here. It's going to be nice to feel that company that I've been kind of missing a little. But that's the strange thing about being an introvert. It's not like a linear thing. Just because you're introverted doesn't mean you never get lonely or you never crave some company. Company is really, really special in the most amazing people in your lives. And having that is just... Sometimes I like Owen to just be here and for me to just sit on my iPad. But having his presence there, there's just something about it that makes me so like warm inside. So I think that's kind of like the... That's the feeling that I'm missing. I'm missing like that little bit of like, you're, you're protected. There's people with you in your life. That's just what's going on in my little head at the moment. <laughs> but let's go out and get some dinner. Cause I deserve it. Wait, let me show you my outfit. This is a little dress from Paul and Bear, which I think is very cute. I've got some shoes on that I actually just bought today on sale and they're so cute. Little espadrille heels, but they're not too tall, which I love. And then for jewelry, I think this is ASOS and these earrings are mango and they're so cool. I got them the other day and it's just a really cool statement earring. And then I've got a few other little bits as well. So yeah, that's it. Let's get going. Girl, love bar. Est-ce que tu nous vois? C'est difficile à dire. La vie sont. I will be on those steps one day. I promise. Je ne sais pas écrire. Tu manques de toi. Good morning everyone, it is my last full day on my own before my friends get here and I'm excited and nervous all at the same time but for today I'm going to enjoy my own company a little bit more than I have been. Last night I had dinner by myself and I honestly really really enjoyed it. I did a little bit of reading, ate my food, it was delicious and afterwards I went for a walk down along like the beach clubs at the front and I ended up having a little cosmopolitan. <laughs> I haven't had a drink out since I've been here and yeah it was a really nice vibe the beach club. So I sat and I drank that and I watched the sunset and it was fabulous. I completely enjoyed my own company and it was an evening I needed so bad. I didn't go on my phone too much. I was just present. So we're continuing that theme today. I am going to head down to the beach now but I'm going to stop for a little pan au chocolat and some iced tea on my way. Do a little journaling. Go for a little swim today. I'm going down to the beach nice and early today. It's just about nine o'clock I think so I'm gonna spend most of the day there and then head back up and get myself organized and ready because this place needs a bit of a clean I need to get organized there's gonna be a lot of people in this apartment we're gonna be at like full capacity in the apartment with everyone coming so I need to get really organized and I have been procrastinating it so I need to get going but let me show you my little beach outfit here she is this little dress is from Paul and Bear I got these shoes yesterday from a little handmade brand and they're so cute that's really it to be honest with you nothing too exciting but nice and comfy and I'll change into my bikini when I get down there but for now I'm getting outside and I'm enjoying those <laughs>
One day I was so sad that it made me ill This boy said that he's sorry but he doesn't feel Like he should have, or at least that's how I thought he should And since that day I'm still wishing he would One day I was so mad that it made me cry The boy I loved turned into someone else's guy So I turned my back and walked until I couldn't see How it feels when he's now with me So I Dried my tears under the sun I put my hands up in the air 